Good morning, everybody. Fortunately for us, we're not investors because investors are waking up to see that their accounts got obliterated. And that's the start of my commentary for today. It is a market correction after all. And why in the world is the market gapping up after all that? Fed Market Protection Patrol. So you'd say, oh my goodness, the market is sold off yesterday, yet we're gapping up. Guys, if you just woke up and saw that your account is in fact down 10% from the peak, 10% from the peak, what do you think that you're still going to do, potentially, if you're a nervous investor? What if you're an over 55 or that you need your money soon? Are you relaxed? by the fact that the market was down 10% and that the, the, the futures are up 30 or 40 points? Or are you going to sell some more? Panic and sell, right? So what would be the, what would be the um, psychology of the gap up, right? If we're gapping up after a big market correction and sell off, Okay, if we do gap up, the gap up is to be faded. So this would be, although we would call this a pro gap up, most likely this pro gap up will fade. Now guys, pro gaps sometimes do not fade. Okay, so what do we do each day? What do we do each day? We say, okay, the market's down. Each day the market can do one of three things. Okay, the market can do one of three things. It can gap down like we did yesterday, open flat, okay, which we are sort of a flattish open, or gap up, okay? So now since we had almost the exact same situation in terms of it being a big red bar, okay, we had a big red bar on Friday, we have a big red bar um, on Monday, the, the reality is, is that being is that we've gapped up, the, now the new expectation would be for us to fade the gap. Guys, it would even still be bullish for us to fade the gap and wash out the lows. At any point, though, if we put in a higher low, when the market makes a, fails to make a lower low, it should make a higher high. Okay, so we're going to be watching very closely to see if the market, when it washes out and makes a new low, that it doesn't make a higher, a higher low and then leads to a higher high. Okay, so be careful of that. So what I would be doing is I will be watching for a gap fade this morning. Okay, I will be watching for a gap fade this a.m. Okay, I would also, at the top of my watch list is our friend Alcoa. Okay, the only stock to be up yesterday, okay, because they had a news that trumped the market sell-off. Their news was is that they're splitting their company, the spin-off trend. So not only did we pick the only stock that went up yesterday, we also picked three great gap and go downs, Morgan Stanley, HST, Calm. We also called mid, you know, during the day Facebook to the short side. Okay, we did mention J.P. Morgan, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, J.C. Penny, as a possible long watch, but it never triggered because it gap faded and filled and generally was more bullish than the rest of the market overall um, because it had a nice daily chart. By the way, J.C. Penny is a great watch for the long side if we do um, start to go up. So we're going to continue to keep J.C. Penny on the long watch list, okay? So today we have a stock that has some earnings coming out, which is Costco. Okay? Costco. So on Costco, um, we are gapping up a little bit. We have Costco, Costco earnings after the bell today. Okay, Costco was one of the few stocks that actually stayed higher 
Um, I'm going to watch Costco as the day progresses. Um, you know, it's it's right at the top of its range. I don't think that today is the day for us to trade it, um, unless, of course, the market starts going up and Costco just keeps running into earnings. That would be an earnings runner set up. It is gapping up a little bit. This is a watch for us on Costco. Um, and that's it. Okay, I am going to be watching and trading the market. Great stocks to watch and trade today. Um, Facebook. I think that Facebook has been a great leading indicator of the market. And you can see Facebook got obliterated. Okay, got obliterated yesterday. I'm going to have to, there's something wrong with my charts here. I'm missing one daily chart here, but. But needless to say, Facebook had a big, big down day yesterday. Um, it is above its 100-period um, moving average, so you know, be mindful of that. Um, this would be also a great stock that had been showing relative strength in case it rallies. Apple is another uh, interesting stock to watch. Um, again, leading indicator stock is gapping up stronger than the market. The Apple daily chart is good. Okay, this is not a bad daily chart, even though we had a bit of a sell-off. Um, so we'll keep an eye on Apple um, as one of the leading indicator stocks, uh, especially with the iPhone 6S release. So on that note, guys, I don't have any fantastic guys. If you have any stocks that are gapping that you'd like me to take a look at, I'd love to uh, assist. And uh, give you my feel, but uh, but I think that today is a day that you got to tread carefully. We got a great Monday, which is not usually the case. Um, in terms of earning stocks, let me see what I got on my earnings list. September 29th. Oh, we got Walgreens, uh, WBA, WBA. Uh, WBA, Walgreen Boots Alliance, you know, I think that one, you know, is in a bearish trend. I don't really have any great gap. I got Lilly gapping up. It's got a, Lilly's got a great daily chart, so we'll put Lilly on the gap up list. We'll do it in blue. Lilly, I'm going to say Lilly is a buy setup long watch it's not a it's not a typical gap play okay it is a long watch um i'm going to say it's a bear, bull gap surprise bull gap surprise on lily let's take a look at netflix uh Another one of these leading indicator stocks. Nothing really significant on Netflix. I'm just going to say, you know, we're going to be watching the typical Apple, Facebook, and FLX. Those will be the ones that we're just watching uh, in general on the market. Um, we had WBA. WBA. That's after the close today. No. Oh, that's tomorrow. No, it's today. It was before the open. No, no real impact. Costco is after the close, and Barracuda, Cuda. Let's see Cuda. Nothing yet on Cuda. IHS, IHS, uh, IHS. I don't see anything either, so not gonna. I'm not gonna really overstress. IHS was before the open. We'll just keep an eye on it. I don't really see anything worth uh, SLH. Let's see, SLH. Oh, that SLH is a possible gap and go down. The only thing is it's at support, okay? It's a B-rated gap, SLH.
that means you wait for longer time frames to uh, to get your entry. Okay, that means you use your five to your fifteen minute entry. Okay, that's on SLH. Five minute low break or fifteen minute uh, cell set up on a retouch. Okay, because it's got it's gapping right onto support. Now, could it fade? Yes, it could fade as well. So. I'm going to say more than likely it's a gap and go down. Okay, it does have a big lot of clear air if it gets below that level. All right, guys. Trade well, everybody. If I have anything else, sometimes these pop up right at the last minute. You know what? Right on the open, sometimes I'll get a couple of them. Market just opened. It's a flattish open, guys. All right, guys. I got one of my uh, NVAX. NVAX is an early indication. For a short, guys. This would be a gap and go down on the NVAX. A little close to daily support, NVAX. Now, if you close that door, please. Let's watch the NVAX. It's a little close to support for me after a big red bar. I think this one might be a good fade. The daily, the uh, fade up above high of day. Okay, um, you know, I, I don't think I don't think you missed anything. You may have missed the first opportunity on the NVAC short. It could also be a long if it breaks the high of the day to the long side. Okay, guys, uh, I think NVAX might be a long gap fade if it bounces at this key support level. So let's watch the NVAX to the long side. Uh, ESPR, ESPR, short. Broke the five-minute low, guys. ESPR, short, five-minute low break. It's got a lot of clear at Esperion Therapeutics, one of the beaten up biotechs. It's a 20 some odd dollar stock. If you short it at the bottom at the five minute low break, you got to use your stop above the five minute high. So go small on this one, even though it's a $24 stock. Or wait for it to bounce 50% of the prior bar. Because remember, if it's gone down five bars, it's probably going to bounce. Wait for the cell set up. Okay, let's put ESPR on here. ESPR. ESPR. Gap and go. Five min. Oh, gap bingo. Break. Five minute low break. 
E S P R R. I put E S P E S P R. Shit. E S P T. I put R. Oh. Um. Hold on one second. There goes E S P R. Hey guys, so far the E S P R. Okay, guys, so far the get the market fade, okay, was the right play, right? We broke down. Let's see that the market continues to go down. As the sell festa continues, let's see MU. Well, MU looks like one of the few stocks that might want to go up. Gap up, possible break of the five-minute high, MU. Let's see the Alcoa. Watch Alcoa for a breakout today. Watch FCAU for a reversal to the upside. It made it a, a nice gap up, gap fade. Italy was one of the few markets up yesterday. Or today. Not seeing anything really high. Nice, anything super high rated gaps. Baba, let's see Baba. I'm going to take a look at ESPR. Guys, Baba, gap fade, guys, on Baba. Five-minute high break so far. This is partially due to the Yahoo News that they're continuing with their Baba spinoff. Yahoo, and what's the other one? It's um, ESPR. Uh, ESPR so far working. I'm melting ESPR. The other one was NVAX. Working guys on NVAX. Guys, anybody who shorted the rally on NVAX is very happy right now. Let's see if NVAX, this would be where you would cover if you shorted up there. Cover down here. If we break the lows, then we're going to go lower. If, you're, if, it, if it's going to reverse also, though, this is where it would happen on the NVAX. Streetman, you made your money for the day, buddy. That's what I want to see, Streetman. S P X S X S P X S S P X S. Whoa, triple bear. Crack at it. <laughs> Streetman, what I would do if I were you is I would uh, sell some and run some. You crack at it. Let's 
Sell some, run some. Sell some, run some. Sell some, run some. It doesn't mean you got to sell it all. Streetman, are you? Okay, good boy. Put your stop past your entry. Your entry is 22.86. You know, you could put it below the day's low. You know, you could give it a little bit of room. Now, you've now locked in your day. And anything you do from here is gravy. Guys, let's take a look at Facebook. Facebook. Guys, Facebook continuing its descent. Five-minute low break on a uh, one-minute low break on Facebook, and the five-minute Facebook continuation down, guys. Facebook. Thank you, Ludo, for your contribution. Okay, guys, the markets are at their lows. If anybody shorted NVAX, okay, you, you, uh, this is a possible bear flag or reversal. This is the decision point on NVAX. ESPR. Okay, beautiful short on ESPR. Hopefully, you guys are in your... This is possibly either an ad for another capitulation. Because this could be the start of the one, two, three continuation down. I'm also going to go visit my calm and the other one. The calm and the not so calm. Yeah, guys, ESPR going, guys. ESPR starting to crack. Calm, guys. Calm is, is a possible uh, bounce off of yesterday's obliteration. Breaking five-minute high on calm. H-T-S-H-T-X-T-H-S-T. -H -S -T -H -S -T. Got the name of the stock I traded yesterday. H-S-T, uh, don't see anything, but calm, calm is possibly a, a bounce today. Guys, I see people trading Pfizer too, EFE. I don't know what that is. I don't really see much of a play there, but ESPR. Getting a little bit of a bounce. I would wait for, if you have not gotten into this, wait for a five-minute sell setup. Guys, just say good morning. Parnas finally woke up and got here. Good morning, Parnas. Hmm. Hmm. Like Yahoo short. <laughs> there he is. He's in the room for two seconds and he's making a trade. I also like Apple short. I like the market. The market was a great short on the open. Any gap up after a big sell-off, you know people are looking at their 301Ks and their 201Ks and they're saying, oh, my God. ESPR, guys, rolling over. Guys, ESPR starting to trigger down. Experian. Therapeutics, the, the biotech bloodbath. I'm going to put a, 
on the whiteboard part that's called Yahoo and Apple short by MJP MWP Let's see uh, guys on any movement down on this ESPR uh, any movement down on this ESPR this could make a measured move down. If it breaks this low, it triggers down and goes lower. I'm gonna I'm gonna give us, although I did not get to trade it myself, um, because many of you did do the short on NDAX. NDAX is a work and ESPR five minute short worked. We take a look at the SLH. I'm gonna I, if the uh, if the uh, what do you call it, guys? SLH killing it, guys. SLH. If it breaks that pre-market low, SLH could be a huge one. Solera Holdings. Okay, it's getting into the gap zone. You see how there's a big gap there on the chart? It breaks that low. Solera Holdings already broke the five-minute low. Let's take a look at the other big short that we like to call every day, which is GoPro, guys, breaking the lows, too, on GoPro. so funny. I mean, we just short the same stocks every day. That one already worked. SLH really was the best. Even though it was a B-rated gap, it still worked the best. Let's take a look at Lilly. Watching Lilly, guys. Watch Lilly for a long. If there's a stock that's going to go up, it'll be Lilly or MU. So those are my two longs that I'm going to leave you with. I got to go do some brokerage stuff. I actually did not hit my target. I did not uh, didn't see any clear trades. I'm very happy to see that Streetman hit his target. No, no. Whoa, guys, look at NLS. Guys, that's a beautiful gap fade, gap and snap. NLS, Nautilus Group. Is that gym equipment? What do they make submarines? No, I didn't see, I couldn't see anything in PFA. Take a look at PFA. I mean, I, it was the same call as all the others, right, uh, Jay? PFA, I mean, it's a good, it was like a, all of these pharmaceuticals were depressed. So they, it was the bounce play. I just, my, it's hard for me to read the charts too because there's a problem with some of the charting today. It looks like some of the dailies are messed up. KMI. Guys, KMI, nice mention by Ludo, Kinder Morgan. Can never quite figure out what the hell this company does, although I see their plants.
All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with Parnas. I did not hit my uh, I did not hit my target for the day. I really didn't see any great trades except shorting the market. Um, the ESPR, I just wasn't fast enough to get in. Um, it's still bouncing. It might give us a secondary entry, which is what I'm going to, uh, if I do see the secondary entry on ESPR, I will take that. NBAX, NBAX uh, did the bounce, right, which I said, watch this one for a fade if it breaks the high of the day. Sadly, I have to work today. All right, I'm going to leave you with Parnes. Made some good calls. Uh, guys, NVAX, watch that one for a long. Do not want to be short um, NVAX at this point. Guys, Facebook, watch for reversal on Facebook. Facebook, guys, did, a, it did an about face. And Alcoa. Watch Alcoa for another move higher. The daily chart looks great. It's the only stock that put in a low and then a higher low trend line break and fade on the daily. Beautiful trend line break and fade. Almost too perfect. Yeah, that, those are the ones that throw me off, Jay. Okay, folks, I'll be back later. I'll be, I'm going to be here. I'm just going to be on mute. Pretty nice market bounce off the lows. I would expect this to roll back over at some point, but for now, there's no point getting in front of it. Good morning. Anybody talking? All right. Well, you can guess what I was looking at today. Guys, ESPR working. Sorry, Michael, if you're talking. ESPR just triggered down. Guys, this is where you want to cover on that one. What I want you to realize is that the waves are getting lower. Low, trigger down, low. You want to get into this biotech bounce. Go with the strong ones. Go with the ones we were talking about yesterday, that cell gene and the Gilead and your your real companies will bounce first. Market must be strong. I've done two trades and they both exploded after I got out. So. My buddy Doug, I'm sure you were looking at SVXY. I bought it when it went back into the green. When the UVXY started breaking down. Yeah, eh, I'm already in and out. Uh, an old favorite of mine. Well, not a favorite, but a uh, real stock that just moves for a $30 stock, $35 stock. Moves in point increments, this ITCI. It's kind of like the biotech that broke the biotech uh, bubble. And that thing went from $5 to uh, 55 
anyway, I, 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 I'm in U.S. Steel again, so I don't know why I keep going back to this stock, but any little sign of strength, I figure the shorts will be afraid. All right. As long as this uh, UBXY stays negative, I'm feeling all right about the market. Biotechs are just going uh, off right now. I got Gilead, and I got an embarrassing amount. At the ITCI, that was one. It went green, sorry, it opened green, went negative, and then came back, along with the biotechs. So, wow, it's already up a dollar. So there's some uh, the shorts are scared, just like normally. Nobody wants to stay short this market because usually it doesn't pay for more than a couple of days. Even though we are going down, it's just still very difficult to stay short. And that's what makes the market so exciting. SPH no yeah XON had a nice two-pointer So really, the one trade that really was something that I liked, it was a gap up that fails on positive news. So as everybody's wondering why it's going down, we're making money. GMCR, negative, right? Good news all around. I think the CEO is on. Blah, blah, blah. Negative. You shorted. All right, here's one for you. Win trying to catch a bounce here. W Y N N. Right here, right now. Trying to bounce, trying to go green, trying to break a half number. All interesting setups. And of course, this stock has been just pummeled. Keep an eye on Win. I wouldn't be, I'm not in a rush to buy anything here. No, so definitely me, not. Uh, I, I'm never in a rush to trade. <laughs> no, I, I just don't, I don't believe that, I don't believe, usually on days after big sell-offs, morning, morning uh, rushes don't mean anything. It's how we close. So, you know, I don't, I don't like to buy, um, uh, on, on a rush, and the market's pulling back here. Can't sustain anything right now. I wouldn't be surprised if we went red again. Get that win. Pick up a little bit. Multi day VWAP is fifty four eighty, so you might get that thirty cents out of this from fifty four forty five to fifty four eighty area. That would be win, 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 win. We're winning. 
Winning. Winning on the win. Win. There we go. Looking for 54. 76, 54, 80, somewhere between there. And Gilead still, I like this stock, I'm not selling it. Come on, win. Put an offer out fifty four seventy six. Fifty four seventy four. Fifty four seventy five. Fifty four seventy six. And and you're done. I'm the greatest trader in the world. See you. There you go, boys and girls. That's how you do. That's how you do it. One minute VWAP gives you the tip off into the reversal, into the multi-day. And maybe you didn't sell it all. Congratulations. 50 cents to 50 cents. Woo! You guys like that? You like that live? Live and in living color? What? Here's another piece of garbage coming around to bounce also. Your all-time favorite. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to mention it. It's too big. Oh, Shiza. I thought Amber was first going green now, but... Hello. That was two points ago. That's a nice reversal. How about some VRX for you? It's only down 70. Oh! Damn. I didn't even get to say the X part of the VRX, and it went up a dollar and a half. Holy moly, the stock has just found 18 points. Oh, the biotechs are back. Gilead, G-I-L-D, and Celgene, my two faves. Wow. Oh, shh. Wow. All right, I'll try to call some out. You guys are going to buy them. Anybody do the win trade? If you didn't do the win trade, you need to be banned. Be banned. Talk to me, Goose. All right, I guess nobody can hear me. So maybe you all missed that wind tree. Oh, well. Come on, man. Come on, man. SVXY, what's it up? $3 now? Oh, not yet. Come on, man! Anyone? Come on, man!
That's just a 25 point bounce in VRX. Whatever. Come on, man. Even GoPro stayed, stayed up. All right. Too many to name. They're all going. You know the list. Bristol Myers, Lila Lily, Cell Jean. Oh, man. Where did these bitches go? SVXY. Come on, man. Come on, man. XON. Man, I can't believe XON got back to 30 this morning for a second there. That's only up 10% now. VRX, just a 30 point bounce now. VRX. That's actually a good stock to watch as an indicator of the biotech sector. GoPro, come on. And Yuri is back in the green. Well, I'm probably going to make 50 points on this Gilead because I got. Come on, man. Woo. Holy crap. All right. Well, I was going to. Man, this stuff is moving way too fast. I was like an FBYE. By the time I pulled the chart up, it was up 30 cents. Man. Anyway, a name of a few stocks is that on my buddy's biotech list, it's all pretty good call yesterday. You know, it's nice to have money to put to work. Every pick he gave me was, was up LG PC. Oh, Jesus. Four percent. Guys, if anybody is in Alcoa, With California emission. Uh, sell some of the Alcoa just from a day trading perspective. That's what I'm doing. And the MU, good, good long on the MU. Okay. Uh, my target on MU is 1470 on MU. 
Here's a reversal. Lulu went green a little bit late. See if it holds the green. Lulu. All right. Um, yeah. I'm telling you, I think I'm just going to spit out the reversals for you. But you got to promise me that you're going to trade them. There's too many sometimes for me to even do. Well, for you guys who are getting started, you should do 100 share lots. and Just to get a taste of what the power of the reversals are. F E Y E is the one that got away right now. If anybody wants to sell any of the MU a little early, it's 10 cents to target. MU, beautiful five minute high break. Even better buy if you bought the, the double bottom pullback into the moving averages. This is one of those days where a hundred shares of you know eight different stocks that went green you're up probably two grand you know just let it go oh there's your lulu re-entry by the way tagged at 5038 nice trade so far oh bye oh by the way yuri uri back in the green you know i mentioned it about 60 cents ago oh. All right, this FEYE is starting to piss me off. GoPro still at new highs. LVS going green, guys. LVS. Did all right with the win. Keep an eye on LVS. Trying to go green to 20 cents away. And Lulu turning into a pretty nice trade here. Lulu, LVS struggling with 40, F-E-Y-E, -E, the one that got away. Right, look at Alcoa going up new highs. Guys, look at MU hitting its, uh, almost hitting its target at 1470. Market made you wait a little bit longer for it, but this was not a, a gap. This was a residual sell-off, reversal. This is exactly what it did. That was the initial short. And then here we, we watch for the higher low. There was the low, and there was the higher low, and then now we've gone up. 
Now, guys, I would wait. I would wait and really, really be mindful that um, about 50% of the prior bar or 30% of the prior bar are going to be areas that you really got to be careful about. That that would be where the rally would would cease. Now, the, the most beaten up indexes are going to be the ones that you're going to really want to watch uh, watch for the uh, strongest reversal, and that's the biotechs. And then, of course, markets don't top, they double top, and then we really want to wait for a lower high before we start getting bearish again. There's no reason to sit through this pain and watch yourself lose money if you're wrong. Okay? All right, everybody. It did take me a little while to uh, to trade the the two that actually were were the good ones for me were MU and Alcoa. Okay, the other one that I liked and traded was FCAU, uh, which worked, but you know it's kind of a longer term play that actually ended up just bouncing a little bit. So, you know, this is something that I've been watching for a while. I just love this daily chart, this slightly lower low in the bottom of a bear flag on an otherwise bullish chart. All right. Well, it was at least 20 or 30 reversals today, so I'm not going to start looking for anything else because there's not going to be any moves that are that good. So this is where I shut the computer off before I trade two trades and I lose a little bit and it takes half my day away. So shutting it down. I don't chase stocks once they reverse. I might watch LBS a little bit longer, see if it can go to green, but that's about it. I'll be back. We'll talk some uh, VWAP later. Get some breakfast. Guys, MU hitting 70 right on the nose and backing away, guys. How's that for a call on a target? <laughs> 